Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Do you know what this is? No, senor. Is it some kind of key? Yeah, I think it probably is. Where did you get it? It was hidden inside the big candle in the mausoleum. And you burnt it? I wondered what the light was I saw through the window. My lady will be furious. The candle was centuries old. Ah. Ah. Uh, all right. So much, you know, yeah. Hello again. What do you make of this? It looks like some sort of key. Where did you get it from? It was buried inside the great candle in the mausoleum. Inside it? What have you done to it? I, uh, lit it. But it is irreplaceable. Listen, the candle was to be lit in case of Moorish attack, right? Well, it burnt down in no time and revealed this key thing. Maybe that was the real purpose of lighting the candle. What are you suggesting? That lighting the candle was the equivalent of break glass in case of emergency. A sentiment must not stand in the way of solving this mystery. You did the right thing. Uh, what? What do you make of this? It is the stone key that you showed me earlier, is it not? What does this charred tissue suggest to you? You have pyromaniac tendencies? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll just have another look around. Very well. Okay, so that was not it. Shit. An old grandfather clock stood against the wall. There was a bookcase, bureau kind of affair. I doubted the Templars had hidden anything in there. I didn't recognize any of the titles apart from an ancient edition of Don Quixote. So, that means that I have to find something else and I didn't have to go all the way here. What is that? The mirror from Lopez's utility room. Yep, I was still looking great. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I got a mirror. Certainly, senor. How can I help you? You have found the hole. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water. See? Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water. Even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. <laughs> okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si, Here! That is hazel! Uh, what, what? Did I get it? Catch you later, Lopez! Adios, Senor Stoba! So? What is hazel? I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. So that was what a hazel tree looks like. Alright, well let's try to find a hazel tree. The main part of the house was old, but nowhere near as old as the gatehouse section. Hmm. I think it's going to be a, a lot of walking again. Is this hazel? It looked a lot like a hazel tree. Oh yeah. A 
I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha! It's stuck. Oh, I got it. Alright. Well. Can I use it on Lopez? Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand's tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. I don't know about that thing. <laughs> Reading the Bible. Senior Stobart, you've you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. Yes. Hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. What? The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment, marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. <laughs> yeah, you could have. Yes. So much happiness. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Well, then let's save. Because I don't want to die. I'd need tools to move all that stuff. Heavy equipment that just wasn't available. Dynamite. Best invention to my mankind. Hello there, lion tiger. From a distance, the lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. Pull it. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. No! Senior Stobart! Senior Stobart! He's... Are you alright? He's dead, man. Senior Stobart! I'm dead. <laughs> Senior Stobart! That was good thing that I saved. Oof, my spider sense is tingling. Well, let's do it again. 
From a distance, the lion's head had been in close up. Hey! Pull the teeth. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senior Stobart! Senior Stobart! Are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, Susto Miras Dada! You gave me a scare! Nice try, Templars. But it's impossible to kill me when you got safe states. Word. I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. I'd almost been killed for the sake of a red herring. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Can't see shit. Alright. I wish that I had... It just felt... I'd almost... Well, I have a solution. Let's use this mirror. And point the... The rays. That's easy, isn't it? There, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. Let's push it. I love these puzzles. That was so cool. Now I knew what I was looking for. It only took a few moments to find it. And there it was. A worked socket. As smooth and perfect as if it had been carved only yesterday. Okay, so I put the uh, key in, in there. Yep. Oh, shit. Open sesame! Another secret door! Oh, shit. There we got it. The children. And the chess piece. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. Checkmate, babe. <laughs> You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. <laughs> or just go back to Nico's apartment. Oh... No. George, welcome back. Come in, George. It's good to see you again. Is it? Sure. What did you find in Spain? Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the clues led to an underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board, and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, André? No, nothing. No, mm, I'm a Maybe we should tell André what else you found, Josh. There's a map and a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Josh found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. 
cat-like reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, André? Yeah. Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? Of course. My apologies. He started it. <laughs> he started it. Well, uh, the Latin phrase are the words of Julius Caesar. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar described Britain as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place, inhabited by blue, painted savages. It hasn't changed much. They've stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh... You can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? André, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, André? As in Bannockburn? Right, George. And it gets better. Tradition has it that the Scots were helped by a shock force of, uh, well, can't you guess? Nuts Templar? Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church in the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? Yeah. I'll call a cab. I'll call a cab. Get your nice clothes on. I can't go. You better stay, you coward. Andre, you've been loads of hell, but... What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. I was? We understand you've got commitments. But listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. Oh, and, uh... Don't worry about us. We're gonna, gonna do some kissing and hugging. Let's go to England. Oh, it must be done. Oh, oh. I guess so. And we must be nearly there. Somewhere out there in the dark is Scotland. We've come a long way together to get here. Yeah. Let's hope it was worth it. Hopefully. There's something I've been meaning to say to you, Nico. Is this the right time and place, Josh? Kiss me. There might not be another time. I don't want to waste this chance. You don't need to say anything. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. But here, with you. Oh. Now. Kiss her. You're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep? Sleep? At a time like this? Excited, huh? Would you like something to help you sleep, dearie? I've got some tablets in my bag. Oh, no. Thank you. Thanks all the same, ma'am. Ma'am? You don't sound like a ma'am. I don't trust you. I've still got the clown's nose. So I see. You should throw it away, George. Yeah, do it. I'm sick of seeing it. Alright, well, let's pick something up. Uh... Pardon me. Yes, my dear. Do you know what time we're due in Sterling? A quarter to six. But we're running eight minutes late. Well, that's good. What's the book you're reading? Oh, it's something I've picked up at the station. A medieval detective story. Quite well written for that kind of thing. It's been out of print for years. Could it be about the Templars? What's the title of the book? The Crooked Crusader Caper by Molly Pegram. 
I assumed the author was a woman, but apparently not. His real name is... Professor Nigel Pigram. That's right. Yep. Do you know him? No, I never met him. George is a great fan of these, though. Well, I have met him in a weird place under a church. Do you know Sterling well? Yes, I do. Is that where you two lovebirds are bound? Yeah, we... It's one of the places we thought we'd see on our holiday. Be sure to visit the castle, won't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place. But we are not really interested in history, are we, George? Uh, no. I suppose espresso bars and boogie-woogie are more <laughs> your cup of tea. Yeah, boogie-woogie, that's, right. that's for sure. There's nothing George enjoys more than a good boogie. Yeah. That... <laughs> Uh, uh. Is there a church called St. Ninian's at Sterling? Yes, there is. And I know why you're going there. You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. You're eloping. And they say romance is dead. Well, now these days, yes. Romance is dead. But you get a lovely cape. Look at that. Warm and cozy. Alright, okay, so let's take a stroll. Since I can't kiss her, uh, might just go out and kiss somebody else. <laughs> Dirt. Where are you going, Josh? Do I need to spell it out? Don't snap at me! If Oof. you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L E A K. Tickets, please. Oh, hi. That's a standard full price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. My ticket is perfectly valid, is it not? Well, yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. Blimey, you're a funny old bird and no mistake. Funny old bird. Tickets please, sir. Here. Good gravy. Off to Sterling, eh? Yes, we are. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, there's plenty of pubs and a lovely view from the castle. Thank no, you. No boogie woogie. I don't want to worry you, but there was something familiar about that guy. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Hmm. Maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. Kiss her. Why? Well, all right, can I go and take a L E A K? Can't you sit still, Josh? I need to go to the John. While you're there, check out the buffet car, Josh. Unthinkable though it is, I am hungry enough to eat English food. Okay. <laughs> White beans. Bacon. The door was locked. The door was locked. This is actually a pretty cool animation. They did it pretty good. Hello. Hi. Having a party? No. This is Brutus. Come on, join us, man. We're Basha. Wake up, man. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse me, mate. He's taking a nap. Sleeping like a bobby. I'll wake him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. Hmm. What is that stuff you're drinking? 
It smells like gasoline. Why? I'll put tears in your chest, Lake. And your eyeballs, too, by the looks of you. Uh. See you later. Would you be so kind and clean up the mess? I didn't want to wake him. To be frank, without a cold water hose, I didn't think I could wake him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you have an open night window, pal? Why not? It's freezing out there. Right. Let's do some more investig investigations. Anything I can pick up? This train cabin is filthy. Disgusting. Let's go somewhere else. Did somebody spit on the window? I wonder if Khan is on board. The door was locked. The door was locked. The door was locked. And the door is locked. Oof. Oh that, no. That's a familiar that gangster phrase. creep from the hotel. Guido. Well, he didn't scare me. Hey, Buster, this is a no-smoking car. Okay, maybe he did scare me. It got worse. I suddenly realized who the conductor had reminded me of. Ackland, Marquet's murderer. Well, let's go and talk to... Uh... Nicole, please save me. Where is she? She's gone. No, they stole my future I should have wife. known better than to leave Nico and the old lady alone. Suddenly. The sword of Bafama took second place to finding the girl I loved. Ooh, I like where you talk. I like the way you walk. I like the way you talk. Georgie. The locked. door was locked. Who locked the bathroom? No wonder it looks like shit in all the cabins. Where is Nico, you bastard? I really didn't want to shoot the breeze with this guy. Alright. The door was locked. Okay, so, well, let's save before I get killed. Uh, let's see, can I throw the clown's nose on him? I really didn't want to shoot the breeze with this guy. Alright. I need to do something, okay. Of course. Where did the music go? Can you hit the guy in the face? Hey buddy! Did you see what happened to the young woman in the next compartment? No, Paula, driven have you lost that like? She's disappeared. The old lady, too. I think they're in trouble. Oh, we are, man. An old lady, too. Yeah. You gotta help me. Maybe they went to the toilet, like. I don't think so. They never go on their own. I was in pairs, you know. No, she's been abducted. I'm sure. I've got to go look for her. What's stopping you, pal? The conductor. He's not what he seems. You want to avoid him, like? That's about it, yeah. No problem. Listen. I need your help. What's the matter? There's a guy on this train who's trying to kill me. Relax, man. You wouldn't try nothing with us in Basharia. We are veterans like so action at Breitling Sea. I don't recall the British Army being involved in a conflict at anywhere called Breitling Sea. Well, you just check it from me, pal. You're in safe hands. I don't understand shit what you say, man. See you later. So? 
Uh, are you going to help me or what? No? I had a feeling that was where Nico might have been taken. Where else could she be? Exactly. Open it up. The door was locked. I can't open a window, okay. And I didn't leave anything. Not even the book. Alright. Let's do something heroic and climb out the window and go around. Give to it, pal, to and jump! I don't intend to jump. I'm going to climb on top of the train. You're kidding, aren't ya? Just watch me. Good thing that I saved. Hold on now, pal. I'll give you a hand, like. <laughs> yeah. The help from a drunk guy. Perfect. That's good, George. We can do this. One step at a time. Oh yeah. Let's go and check out. Okay, well that was the last exit. Let's go in here. See what's going on. Oh no. Whoa. Well, that was Khan, and he's dead. Let's talk this over like reasonable people, Eklund. I can explain everything. I can explain? For fuck's sake. Didn't you hear me? <laughs> 